Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I am Mufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining the family. This is another review video. It's a skincare product I'm going to review and it's from The Ordinary and it is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. I have been reviewing these products as I use them and I use them for a period of time before, you know, reviewing them because my skin is kind of weird and you know everybody else's skin reacts differently um so yeah if you want to see how my skin fed with this product and how this product works exactly carry on watching and yeah let's just get right into it earlier this is going to be a review on this product right here niacinamide this is going to be a complete guide on niacinamide from my point of view or perspective some people obviously had different reactions with this product but this is just mine because you know everybody's skin is different like I said earlier niacinamide is one of the really popular skincare ingredients right now everybody's raving about niacinamide people say it has different benefits a lot of brands are like producing niacinamide products so for those of you who don't know what niacinamide is it is a water soluble version of vitamin B3 which is naturally occurring in our bodies vitamin B and vitamin B3 are known for their anti-inflammatory properties and also they soothe you know inflammation and also anti-oxidation properties that's why they are so popular and that's why they are really really soothing it's also really really calming for the skin at least it calms my skin down i don't know about you but that's how my skin felt some benefits of niacinamide include working with a sebum on your skin to actually improve the appearance of pores on your skin niacinamide is also known to improve the texture of your skin other benefits include it brightens the complexion and hyperpigmentation it increases skin's natural lipids that are collagen or hyaluronic acid it strengthens skin protective barrier and reduces inflammation in acne prone skin and it says it's not an acne treatment okay so down to my experience with niacinamide i've had this um product for a while i bought the big bottle at first i was using the revlon was it Rev revolution um niacinamide um which was pretty much it's like a dupe for the ordinary if you ask me but i've had entirely different um experiences when it comes to these two products let me know if you want me to compare the two but this product looks like this it's kind of not so clear and it's um you know thick and liquidy at the same time almost gel like and it has no smell to it all the ordinary products do not have any smell to it now it applies really really clear on the skin I'm just going to put it at the back of my hand so you guys can see that it is quite runny and it's not tacky at all at least from my experience it's not tacky at all unless of course it's getting dry this is how it rubs onto the skin it's really really clear so now what you guys have been waiting for how this products reacted with my skin so i used this product um for a period of say six to eight weeks the niacinamide from the ordinary i'm talking about and um first of all when i started using it i felt a little burning sensation on my skin it wasn't uncomfortable it was just like i'd used something new i guess and my skin was just settling in um and also honestly i poured like i felt like i poured way too much from the vowel into my pound and rubbed onto my face i felt like i used way too much so maybe that was what caused the sensation that i felt on my skin but i didn't want to stop using it because i've had i've had so many good things about this product so i kept on using it now the combination of what how i was using this product was that um First of all, uh, my nighttime skincare routine, I paired it, I used to pair it with hyaluronic acid and um, 
I sealed it in with the CeraVe um, Night Moisture Lightweight Night Moisturizer, which also had niacinamide in it. So I don't know the exact percentage of niacinamide that product had. And um, I used it just at night most of the time because I use vitamin C in the morning. And the ordinary um, said. Um, this niacinamide shouldn't be paired with vitamin C. I wasn't sure exactly if it was if it was that it shouldn't be paired with the ordinary's vitamin C or shouldn't be paired with other vitamin C's at all. I need to look into that, but I wasn't using this in the morning because I was using vitamin C in the morning. I was using vitamin C um, from the ordinary as well. Um, so I didn't use this in the morning. I always use this at night. Um, so what i noticed also was that it was quite soothing I, I must say it was really soothing and um apart from the burning sensation i felt previously i didn't feel any burning sensation again from this product and you know the feeling you get when you apply glycolic acid to your skin you know that tingly feeling um i would use glycolic acid to tone my face and next thing i use um, niacinamide as my first serum because um it soothes my skin that's why i was using a niacinamide because that burning sensation from the hyaluronic um from the glycolic acid sorry this niacinamide tends to you know make that feeling more subtle that's why i enjoyed using this product right here also i realized that I had a bunch of spots on my face you know the spots keep coming I keep breaking out now and again like it's like a cycle like I break out when I'm on my period um sorry I didn't have to be gross about it about it but I, I break out I'm saying it I break out when I'm on my period and um it takes time my skin like takes time to heal from you know the hyperpigmentation that is left by these zits and pimples and all those things so um i realized that this niacinamide actually helped to alleviate some of the darkness from my skin this serum actually helped with the minimization of my pores and it helps with oil production guys like it helps with oil production i can't say this enough it helps with oil production i have like really really oily skin and each time i use this niacinamide like the oils um when i wake up in the morning that my face looks okay not so oily it looks moisturized it looks healthy it doesn't look too oily even though i use i also use this niacinamide before i use my retinol in squalene from also also from the ordinary and that is quite oily but it's a really light oil so when i wake up in the morning my face isn't as oily you know i don't know how to explain it I feel like it helps my skin to absorb the oils from you know and and make doesn't make my skin overcompensate it doesn't dry out my skin because my skin tends to be overly oily when i put too many drying products on it do you, do you guys get what i'm trying to say i feel like i'm not making so much sense but i hope someone out there understands because i'm trying to give you guys the tea on this product so another thing that i would like you guys to know that i've never actually paired this product under makeup before so i don't know exactly how it's going to react with makeup products but since it reduces the um, appearance of pores i think it will be like a really 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 great product to use before your makeup so that your makeup looks a little more smoother um, and also another thing that this product did, did for me was to help to reduce the texture on my skin I was struggling with texture so badly One thing that I was struggling with was texture another thing was acne, but texture was really really bad You know at least um, if you have acne scars on your face and it's not like really really Textured you can cover it with some BB cream or some foundation or concealer But if you have texture it's really really hard to hide even with makeup, you know So um, this product actually really really helped with texture So I would like to wrap up this video because I don't want this video to be super long um, For me this works for my skin my skin is oily and really acneic at this point in time And it's actually really helped with oil production and it pairs really really well with other serums um hopefully i'll be able to put a routine out there for you guys to see exactly how i use my the ordinary products but i feel it's best 
to show you guys how this product has worked with my skin now um let me just give you a, a, a description of how i use this product so first of all i go in and cleanse my face double cleanse if i have makeup or not um and then i wash my face um be it a glycolic um face wash a salicylic acid face wash or a basic face wash just a foaming cleanser just to get off the gunk off my face and the next thing i do is to tone i can tone with a glycolic acid toner or a witch hazel toner it really depends on how my skin is feeling and the next thing i do is to go in with my niacinamide serum it's the, actually the really first serum i use after toning and the, apart from the very first time I used it, my skin didn't tingle at all. Every other time, it's been soothing and it's helped my skin so much. So I think that if you want to invest into getting this product, I think that you should. Um, one thing you should know is that this product is not an acne treatment. If you want to treat acne, benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and retinol, I know are really, really good for... Um, um, acne but if you need a very very basic skincare product that's supposed to help your skin thrive and also to repair your skin barrier um, I think that you should invest with you should invest in this product right here if you are in Ghana you should you can check on Instagram check everything beauty swanky um, everything beauty GH swanky beauty supply um, shop shopping booth or shop booth beauty shop i believe i would put all the names down below so you guys can find it they are really they are um trusted people that i get my skincare products from there are a bunch of other people on instagram who sell this product so um i would just put them down below so you guys can go ahead and purchase it and also if you are not in ghana if you are abroad in the u.s or the uk in the u.s i think that you can get it online um, I don't know about Sephora, but you, I think you can get it online. You can order online. Please be careful to read the inscription on the bottles when you find them because there's so many fake The Ordinary products out there. I didn't believe it when I saw it at first. Or I didn't believe it when I heard it at first. But The Ordinary, um, people are trying to uh, mimic The Ordinary's products and are going to end up damaging your skin. So please be careful when you're going to purchase this product. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, review. I hope this review was helpful. Again, I will try my best to review all the products I'm using from The Ordinary as soon as possible. I haven't really had the energy to film because of all the crazy things that's happening in the world. That's why I've been really, really slow to film. But I hope I'm able to put this video out there um, as soon as possible. Please take care of yourselves and do research before you buy any skincare products because you don't want to ruin your skin. I know having skincare issues is so it's such a struggle and sometimes it, it just messes with your confidence but guys like having acne or skincare issues doesn't make you less beautiful okay be patient with the products that you get be patient because I had to use this for a long time before seeing results I think that when you buy products give them six weeks at least or at most to see results I think except of course retinol i will be reviewing that retinol soon <laughs> i have a bitter sweet relationship with retinol anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video take care of yourselves i love you so much i will see you guys in my next video bye guys